Welcome to the second Monday Night Wine Tasting in El Mercato. Today we're going to taste four different wines, two whites, two reds. Brandon, you want to take it over? Okay, uh, yeah, well, uh, well, the first wine is made by Susana Balbo. Um, she was the first female winemaker in Argentina. This is made under her another label that she makes um, called Crios, which means offspring. This is her Torrantes, it's made uh, in Salta, which is north of Mendoza. Um, but These are 31 year old vines? Yes. 30 year old vines right around there. So it's right, so you got, age on it. you got age on it, definitely. It's got a lot of aromatics going on. Um, beautiful, light white, but um, it definitely uh, over delivers in the, in the aromatics. It's a beautiful f uh, wine to smell, it's a fun wine to smell. So. The next wine, Albarina, Lacanio. Lacanio meaning the cane, which grows down by the rivers. Uh, in uh, Rias Bosch's. Uh, this one right here, 2009. A really, really classic style Albarino, um, coming from Rias Spices, as, as Mike said. You know, these, these light whites are just really um, great for, for the American palate now because a lot of people are straying away from your, your classic Chardonnays and Pinot Grigio, so. And a great food pairing white as this well. This one is really nice, really good yeah. acidity on this too, which, um, which is somewhat typical of the Albarino, but uh, after I heard this was uh, uh, aged uh, Sir Lee for it's, it's got a, of months. It so does, it does. It has a little bit more weight to it um, than I've, I found from a lot of Albarinos. Um, tend to be a little bit on the lighter side, but this does have a little bit more body to it. So Nice pear, yeah. peach notes, really good food wine. The, uh, the next one is a red wine. It's the uh, Chateau Patache d'Or. This is predominantly Cab, uh, Merlot, um, Cabernet Franc, and a small percentage of Petit Verdot. This Chateau has been a around for a while. Gives you a great classic style uh, Bordeaux. A little bit lighter style, which is much more approachable at an early age. This is 06, um, but definitely something that, that can be enjoyed now or, or put down for a little while and um, you know see how it ages. This one as well, I could, I could drink this. Uh, I, I don't necessarily need food on this wine. Yeah, no, I mean, not at all. It, it, I mean, it's nice and light. Absolutely. It's, it's soft enough that you could enjoy it by itself. It's not so overly tannic that it's, it's, it's not pleasurable. Now the last one we're doing is the uh, Bodegas Atalaya. Which again Correct. is another Jorge Ordonez. Uh, this is a Jorge wine. Ordonez wine, uh, as is the Lacana. These are both joint projects. It's a blend, uh, predominantly Monastrell. Um, it has a small percentage of Tintoria and also Garnacha. But um, it spends about eight to nine months on French and American oak. Um, so that's definitely present. This one for me is not something I'm going to sit down and just drink a glass of alone. It, this one I would definitely pair with some heavier foods. I think well, so. Yeah, it could definitely hold up to a lot of spice as well. Uh, all right. So thank you very much. Uh, all these wines that we that we've showcased tonight, just like every wine tasting that we have, we sell them 30 percent off of what we usually would sell them for here at the shop. So if anybody wants to uh, buy any, come on down. It's live, right? <laughs> It's definitely a red wine. <laughs> that we know. Any guesses? You think this is from uh, Old World, New World? Like uh, New World being uh, US, Australia, New Zealand, uh, South America? Or you think this is maybe an Old World wine like uh, France, Spain? Any fruit flavors that are coming out? This is uh, Morved. Syrah Grenache Morved. This is a Grand Reserve. Ah, that's okay. a, little, uh, a little rinse. Um, a white wine here. To me, this Ooh. is this kind of okay. this kind of jumps out of the glass right away because I love these wines. As far as the aromas, what do you guys pick out? Lychee. Lychee. Yeah, great. Perfect. Perfect. White peach, but also there's some like green herby thing right on the top of the nose. And I got German, so I got Riesling. It is a Gewürztraminer from Mosul. Really? Yeah. Oh, from Fowles. I'm sorry, Fowles. Not in a million years, man. Gewürz. Really? Uh, thank you very much. And we'll see you next uh, week. Thanks a lot. Salud.